Hey everybody, it's um, Tuesday afternoon. Um, another day of job hunting. Nothing yet. Um, there probably won't be a whole few, many more reviews till I finish what, um, once I finish what I have until I find a job and can afford to buy some more. But uh, I'm going to do one uh, sent, sent to me by Tony over at um, uh, Awesome, Awesome, uh, or Mediocre Reviews and Awesome Brews. Forgot the name of his channel. Um, hell of a guy. Check him out. Um, good review. Good reviewer. Um, I'm going to do one he say, actually sent me two of. I had the other one, so I got some uh, got some initial thoughts and everything. He sent me two of the uh, the Founders Imperial Stout. That's um, one of their seasonals. Um, Founders just became available here a month and a half or so ago in the state, so haven't had a chance to taste this one, so thanks to Tony for sending it to me. A um, little bit from the website, it says, Brewed with 10 varieties of malted barley. This stout is smooth as silk, yet complex and rich in body. Serve this guy at cellar temperature. Well, it's been out of the fridge probably half an hour. Drove out to the park here. Um, it's not cellar temperature. It's a little cooler than that, but I'm sure by the time I'm done, it'll, it'll be warm up. It's a um, fairly nice day for for uh, mid-June it's uh, it's about 80 degrees but the humidity is way down um, but anyway it says put put another log in a fire sit back and enjoy the friendship of this ultimate winter warmer it's not winter like I said um, this comes in at um, 10 and a half percent ABV 90 IBUs um, I don't really see a brewing date on it I'm sure there's one somewhere founders is usually pretty good about that but I know it's a it's a winter brew so let me get this in the glass, see what we have here. It's a slightly windy day today, but so let me get that paperwork with my stuff from the website. Now that is one you always hear thick as motor oil. That's one that definitely is. It's um, that's that is thick. That poured thick. That's black as night. You can't see anything through that. I'm um, got a probably half an inch of a nice brown foamy head. Good looking beer. Looks like a stout should look. So let me give it a nose. Oh wow. Yeah, I got that huge roasted coffee notes, chocolate, bit of smokiness. Little oak. I don't know if this is um, this is this is eight barrel aged or not. Little vanilla. Light dash of cocoa. Maybe even some brown sugar or molasses. It's um, darn good smelling beer. It's got all all the notes you expect from a from a good 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 stout. So let me give it a taste. Wow, that's nice. Um, those really robust roasted malts. Little dash of cocoa, maybe brown sugar. Molasses, almost a molasses type bitterness hits towards the end, but there's so many malts in this. Um, this 90, the hops in the 90 IBUs are nowhere to be found. That, that bitterness is from the malts. Um, I'm not getting a ton of coffee on this. Not as much as I got on the nose. As you can see, the uh, the head is gone already. It's fairly sweet. Um, the roasted malts um, bring a little bitterness to the front of the palate, and they're giving it that um, dry, slightly bitter finish. There may just be a bit of a roasted coffee bean flavor in there. Maybe a bit of raisins too, some dark fruits, but mostly it's like chocolate covered raisins. Really good taste. So anyway, let me sit, uh, sit and let this warm up a bit. I'll be back after a while with the final thoughts and great. Okay, I'm back. It's been probably half an hour or so I've been sipping on this I mean this is a sipper not a 
definitely a sipper. Um, I've noticed as it's warmed up the uh, a smooth sweet chocolate has come out a lot more, uh, more towards the center. Cutting back on that bitterness a little bit, you still get that uh, nice, slightly, slightly dry bitter finish, but that's from the malt. There's, I don't detect any hops in this at all. I'm sure they're there, preserving it. Um, this is a this is a decent, darn solid uh, imperial stout. Um, now I noticed, um, I didn't mention it before, but you're not really tasting the uh, or feeling the alcohol that much on this. Um, you feel a little bit maybe on the, uh, you know, after it goes down in your stomach, in your your esophagus and stuff, but uh, you don't really taste it. You don't smell it. Um, good beer. Um, mouthfeel, this is about as thick as a beer can be without, without actually being syrup. I think there's just enough almost perfect carbonation on this to keep it from becoming syrup. Um, it's a, once it's warmed up, it's a lot sweeter than it was when it, uh, when it, when I first opened it up. Um, like I said, that chocolate is, chocolate has come out a bit more, moved toward the center, but you're still getting that, um, that dry, slightly bitter finish from the malts. Um, stellar beer, um, I'd probably give this, if I broke them down that far, I'd probably give this a 9.8. Um, I don't normally round up, so... The uh, Founders Imperial Stout, for me, gonna get a 9.5 out of 10. Um, darn good beer. Um, recommend you try it if you, if you can find it. Um, I know it's seasonal, so might be hard to find right now, but if you can get Founders, look for it when it comes out. Till next time, everybody, cheers. Keep drinking good beers.